Rangers Worker in Hell City to build. Now last time it took me around 8 weeks. So why even bother? Was it even worth it? Was there some real fun? Isn't it just beautiful? Mm -hmm. It's much more fun than sitting in front of my computer all day and doing the same thing over and over and over again. But no different results. But enough of playing around. Let's take it more serious. How do I make it better? And on the same way, faster and smarter. In the same way, we should learn a thing or two about electronic, more or less. Here comes the question. What is the difference between these two clips? Like obviously, they are both good dancers, but the second one it's a bit cooler, but to be able to add some music to my animation, first of all I need to know how to make music. Like obviously. Thankfully, there are enough of open source stuff out there. So, I don't even know, need to know how to play an instrument. After a few hours I created some music, I know, I know. And I don't care what you think. They are mine, they are free, so they are good enough for me. I need to stop for a bit for working on this project for now. We have quite a situation going on here now. Now, <laughs> who will clean this mess up? Of course it's me. Now, for the next step. We need to go on a bit of adventure. And we need to look around. Come with me. Okay, but what are we even looking for? You know the low resolution games, but everything is flat like a baby egg. And I don't want that. Let's take this piece of food for an example. If I want to model it, well, it's not just about the colors. It's about the texture too. And, and, and with a little bit of imagination, this could be easily texture used for everything. After all, it's just a candy So it doesn't need to be 100% real. But at the same time, it should feel real. So it's just not an absolute nonsense. It's not about just to make it feel real. At the end of the day, it's about me. Making my life easier. I don't want to spend days modeling buildings. I'm not an architect. So, it's not that hard. It's quite simple, using Blender. You just take a photo of a building and import it as a texture. The only thing missing now is taking the photos. Hey you! Wake up! And have a joy! From every little thing in your life. Yes, I do. And how are you going to model a building? It's the same way as I can use the text. I've done a really terrible job explaining what I'm actually going to do with all the photos from the building and all kind of stuff. Let me rather show you. It's better to see once and hear a thousand times. Open up Blender, add some modifiers uh, and all the crap you don't even care. I created a couple of road textures using my photos and imagination. Import the finished texture as an image, but nothing happened. Of course nothing happened because my mesh is just uh, one polygon. To have as many details as possible, I need to subdivide my mesh. Let's start my work with gigabytes of RAM. So I upgraded it, it's a quite easy upgrade. That wasn't the only problem, as you can see. My bottleneck is now my GPU, so of course. Let's upgrade. Let's upgrade. But with the chip shortage that is going on in the world, it's quite impossible to get. Let's not forget that to be able to upgrade your GPU, first of all you need a PC where you can upgrade your GPU. After a couple of hours or more of this, I came out with an idea. You know how the saying goes. Everything looks better in dark. So why worry about so many details when I can just hide them? No one will see them. I mean, even in here, I don't know which, they made a fantastic looking Tyrannosaurus Rex. With what technology? Because they were smart, not like me. And it still holds up. It's a perfect CG model. Because they were clever about their lighting. 
So let's not worry about so many details and let's just hide them. And concentrate about the overall picture. No movie is ever finished. It just gets released. Do you want to go with me on an adventure? Where are we going? You'll see. Don't worry. Trust me. Where are we even going? I'm not gonna lie, I'm starving a bit. And do you want to go with me on a cup of coffee? Oh, of course I will go with you. And I know a place where we can go. And have a nice dinner and a cup of coffee. If you don't have a better idea. Well, I don't even know this town very well, so let's go to your place. Alright, but we need to take a ride there. It's a bit far away from here. Of, of course, it's raining, so let's take a ride. You will like that place. I have some friends there, and I will be glad if you meet them. What you feel matters. What you do is important. Do not let yourself down. You are part of something greater. Yes, uh, of course. So everyone, this is he. Now, see, this is the Resistor family. Thermistor, Photoresistor, Faristor, and many others. But they are not here now. They have their duty to do. Nice Whoa. to meet you. Hi. Oh, hi. What do you think, see? They are the, one of the most basic electronic parts you can find. You want to ask them if they feel useful when they are so much basic. You told me earlier you feel really bad because you think that no one needs you. Because you are so much basic. Now do you think they should feel? They look sad to you or happy since they are less complex than you. Right now, I don't know what to say. What is their secret? There is no secret, see. But let me tell you. Their sisters are everywhere. Even when you don't see them. Do you know what's holding our world together? So it doesn't. Or down. They are one of the most basic electronic parts. As I said, yet. Work without them, everything would fall apart. I'm sorry for being so rude before when I was talking about the resistors, but how are they so... so necessary? Can you explain it to me? No, I'll show you. Guys, but uh, it's a bit brutal, so be aware of that. Well, I like horrors, so don't worry about it. Do you want to shine bright? My little friend. Yes, but uh, where is my resistor? Don't worry about him. He will be fine. And you can shine even brighter without him. Let's do this. <laughs>